What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody out there? Welcome back to the Indie Rundown channel. We are back to do another trailer breakdown. I love doing these, so thankfully, Disney got the right idea, and they dropped a new trailer, so it gave me something to do. And, mm. yeah, and the guy moaning on that is my guest, who thinks he knows something about a little Marvel and MCU, so we're going to test his knowledge today to see what he actually knows. And that is Mr. Troy Parker back in the house, dude. This is the second one you've done with me, man. You just can't stay away, can you? Hey, brother, I never claimed to know everything about MCU and Marvel, so don't put shit in my mouth. I just enjoy it, <laughs> and I've seen it. And I have an and I have a I have a fucking opinion. So there we go. Wow, you took the other approach. I thought you were gonna be like, dude. <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna be like, uh, of course I know everything, but I don't. Maybe, oh well, maybe that's just me. But, maybe uh, I'm just an idiot like that. Oh, uh, you know, you know way more than I do. And our other guest, Art Baez, that piece of shit, would have known more than both of us. But fuck you, Art. Yeah. We're gonna continue. Yeah, he flaked out on me because I flaked out on him earlier this week. So. But you got to tag him in the post anyway. Be like, yeah, since we mentioned him, we got to tag him in the post. That'd be hilarious. I think I will. Yeah, and I'm going to let him know how much fun we had. Yeah, so fuck you, Art. All right, here we go. I'll put some cool music behind this and shit and all that other good <laughs> stuff. So, yeah, uh, so here's the thing. <clears throat> I, I'm going to admit something here that I've really never admitted to anybody. No lie, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny or cool here. I'm being 100% serious. I, fuck, I teared up, dude. I teared up watching this trailer. I'm not going to lie. It really hit me on a very emotional level. And I think it's because the 10 year buildup with these characters that you're so emotionally invested that it's it really has all come down to this. Like everything has been leading to this. This is it. So it's like yep. the, the the music that they played in this trailer really, really, really hit me hard on an emotional level. It makes me tear up. It makes it. I don't know who fucking composed this trailer music, but they are one of the greatest composers of all time, in my opinion, because this hit me so hard. Um, and then with the flashbacks and the color tones and the and the voiceovers, it's just it's, it just it's, it leaves you an emotional wreck, man. And I, I couldn't have asked for a better trailer. So I agree, dude. I mean, I watched it probably when it first came out. I probably watched it five times back to back, and I was just like, "What? What?" I kept watching it. Yeah. And uh, every time I got something else out of it, because I, I, I was still, I mean, I still, I mean, I watched it today. I have watched it three three more times today, like a like a fanboy, but um mm -hmm. yeah dude it's uh we need yeah, to talk about it. we need to talk about it yeah we will and it's funny because i did my reaction one thing i i don't like about doing trailer reactions is because you just see it once and then you stop recording i kind of wish i could see it like four or five times and then watch it again cuz you never really notice shit you do the first initial because it's just all this information coming into your head so you kind of miss certain things and and don't pick up on them but that's what we're doing this video for because I've watched this motherfucker 50, 80 times already. Um, I've seen a lot of other people react to it, and everyone pretty much has the same reaction as I do. It's emotional, man. It really is. Um, it doesn't seem like a happy-go-lucky movie. It seems bleak, desolate, and it's really like... Like holy shit, it's 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 life changing. Like we got to fix this. It's it's hard to explain, but it's um it's a hell of a feeling, man. So here's what we're gonna do. Kind of what we did with the Game of Thrones one. I got the trailer pulled up right in front of me. Same. Um, let's start off real quick. The the trailer starts off with a lot of flashbacks, and I really loved how they symbolize Iron Man, Cap, and Thor. It kind of revisits their original Phase One movies, and I thought that was really cool because it really shows you how far they've each come individually. You know, and um, symbolizes the journey they've been on. And so it starts off with Iron Man, who's who features this classic scene when he escapes the cave. It's a very beautiful shot. It's all black and white. And uh, the hoses on his costume are red. And they did that with every flashback shot. They symbolize reds. Now, I've heard a lot of theories, a lot of back and forth. The red meat could mean a lot of things. The blood that was spilt, the 10-year anniversary thing, like you said just now, the... Uh, Something about the reality stone, which I think is stretching. I don't really think that has anything to do with reality stones, but Agreed. yeah, I just, I thought it was a cool little color palette with the with the black and whites and the reds. It's just a very it, yeah, it's very dramatic. That it just it just adds to the drama. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and it's it's perfect. Yeah, and the whole time he's doing a voiceover, talking about seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. Then it shows this shot from Iron Man 1 when Pepper's or he's looking at the uh, the gift that 
she left him. It was his original arc reactor. Yep. Proof that Stone, Tony Stark has a heart. Um, and then a very good shot from Iron Man 3 of her lifting up the helmet to her head. Uh, and then he said, I knew, I knew I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. And it makes you really think how grim this situation is. Now, I'm willing to bet this whole scenario is obviously when he's from that first trailer, when he's recording that message for Pepper. That's probably what all this is from. I think this is all in the beginning of the movie when they're stranded out in space before they get back to Earth. Because Oh, for sure. I, yeah, because as this trailer kind of ruined for I mean, we all knew he was going to get back to Earth, but this trailer just kind of, you know, made that abundantly clear. So, um, Which they I, shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. No, I, I agree. Think. I agree. I don't think so either. They kind of fucked uh, that up. They did. They did. So we got a nice shot of the Benatar here, the Guardian ship, which is floating in space. Really good shot with the space nebula stuff in the background, the stars and whatnot. Then that shot of the first trailer from Tony. And then uh, it goes to my favorite part of the trailer. Um, this flashback right here of Captain America from the first movie. This When the music kicks in, dude, when he steps into that soldier's uniform, that just hits me so hard, man. Yeah, I just I love this shot, man, because it really shows you where he started out, you know, and it's just it's so powerful, dude. And then it goes to the shot of the Statue of Liberty that we saw on the Super Bowl trailer and then him in the counseling center. And the whole time this is going on, you hear Peggy Carter from Winter Soldier when she's old in bed. She's saying the world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is start over. Now, that is her speech from Winter Soldier when she's talking to him. And she's basically... Re uh, reiterating that you know it's the world's different man we can't go back but I think it symbolizes what this movie is going to be about is that they do go back yep. you know they, they they I think this trailer proved that we are going to see some time travel there's going to be some quantum realm time traveling so it it's just really cool how they pulled that audio because it kind of makes you uh, makes you think about that or me at least um, now Let's move into this one. Very haunting shot here of Hawkeye and his daughter. I think we all know. Here's my here's my theory. I think this is damn near at the beginning of the movie. That's his family in the background at the picnic table. I think they're all going to turn to dust in the scene right in front of him. Yeah, that's that's my theory. Now go to the wide shot when he's with his daughter. I, I'm, I'm at that shot right now. Look at look at his right leg. Does that not look like an ankle bracelet that's kind of compressing his pant leg there? Uh, good eye, dude. It well, people have certainly that out. does. I didn't, I didn't see that, so this might be. That's what I'm saying. I think this sequence is him and his family at a park, <sighs> and like I said, this could be like right at the beginning of the movie, one of the opening sequences. But yeah, I think this is where maybe they sit down to start eating, and then something they just all dust away right in front of them. Can you imagine the horror, dude? Damn, the horror in his face. Um, so I think that's what's going on here, and I think that's what's gonna. That's what's going to happen. Um, and then we get a nice close-up of them high-fiving, and, and it just kind of adds further to the misery of yeah. the impending uh, the impending knowledge that his family's going to dust right in front of him. So, uh, And then it goes into the shot of him in Japan when, when it's just bleak. You know, his face is just so torn with tragedy. Uh, and you see Scarlet Witch. God, why do I always call her Scarlet Witch, man? Because you're not a fucking fanboy, you don't know. Well, no, I because I think of Scarlett Johansson, and then I think of Scarlett <laughs> Witch. Like I've done two other videos where I've called her Scarlett Witch at first. It Black uh -huh. Widow, it, uh -huh. the Scarlett Johansson throws me off. I think of her name Scarlett Johansson, and then I think of Scarlett Witch. Anyways, I'm gonna redo that. <laughs> no, so leave it, it in. Leave it in. All right, I'm gonna leave it in. Uh, Good. If I ever meet Scarlett Johansson, she's probably gonna kill me for fucking up her name so many times. But whatever. So then they got a nice shot of them holding hands as, as Peggy finishes her voiceover. Sometimes the best that we can do is start over. So start over. What does that mean to you? I think that kind of reiterates the whole going back in time and starting over, basically. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, they're, they're, they're leading all up to it. But wouldn't it be funny if they're just like fucking with everybody on this trailer and they actually don't go back in time? And those are space suits and not like quantum suits. That'd be, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, that would be the biggest troll drop ever. <laughs> <laughs> ever, man, ever, ever. Well, see, it's it's kind of it's just interesting because like we've talked about many times before, if if they do go back in time, how can they do anything without fucking up the future? 
yeah. you know, unless they do like alternate realities or something. But then that gets really confusing. So there's got to be a way if they do go back in time through the quantum realm, there's got to be a way that they can back to the future it to where they're back in time, but they can't touch anything or do anything, you know, to um, to kind of fuck up the uh, the paradox, basically. Well, they're not going to screw it up, but they're going to what they're going to do is it's going to open up the avenues for Fantastic Four and all these other X-Men and shit. To It's going to combine some realities where it, but it's not going to be fucked up because no one will know it except the ones that went back in time. Mm. They're, and they're, they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives that they have melded maybe two dimensions or melded two worlds or or, or, or whatever. I mean, that's just part of the reality. The thing is, it's either this or or. Or the snap, you know. So, yeah, I would take, I would take, I would take the, you know, I wouldn't take the snap. That's for damn sure. No, absolutely not. But the, the, the long running theory was they go back in time to get all the stones before Thanos does, and it's like, well, if they get all the sure. stones, then that's going to change everything else. Yep. So I don't see any other possible way to. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's going to take some more hard thinking but let's move on man i don't i don't want to keep dragging but yeah it just goes to it goes to another flashback of winter soldier when he's carrying peggy's um coffin no is that civil war the one that she dies in mm. or age of ultron she dies in age of one of the three but it's it's a shot from that with the with the coffin and the nice reds really standing out again yeah. uh and then it goes to a beautiful shot of asgard Pretty um, sure it's winter soldier yeah, it's one of the three. Got a beautiful shot of Asgard, you know, Thor. And now this 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 kind of really hits hard too when I watch this trailer, you know, watching Odin touch his shoulder and stuff, just really symbolizing how much Thor has lost everybody, bro. Like everyone. It's really tragic when you really sit down and think about it, what this dude has seen. And then of course, Marvel Asgard. Re- Asgard isn't a place. Yeah. It's a people. It's a people. Sorry. You know, you're good, man. You're good. It's 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 beautiful. But what's not beautiful is how Disney rubs the uh, the dusting in our faces again because we get this shot of Falcon dusting away, and then a shot of uh, Thor looking on in horror, and then a shot of Scarlet Witch dusting away. Hey, you got it right. Yeah. See, I get her right. <laughs> I guess all the women are Scarlet Witch to me for some reason. But yeah, it's just uh, and then you know then it shows Cap looking over Bucky's ashes. Yeah, kind of you know revisiting the events of Infinity War and um, the whole time this is going on, Thor says, "I saw all these people die," and then Cap comes in. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. From the Super Bowl trailer, and your your girl Scarlett's got her. She's got her red hair back. Yep, that's literally what I was about to get to. So then we got a shot of Scarlett Johansson, Black Widow. Yep. Um, this symbolizes to me a lot of time has passed. Because her blonde hair is grown out, her her hair's a lot longer and it's red. The yep. red's coming back out, even though no way in hell anybody believes that kind of red is somebody's natural hair color. But whatever, I digress. So yeah, I'm thinking, um, you know, first part of the movie takes place when Cap has his beard, Scarlet has her short black or blonde hair. Yep. Captain Marvel shows up. Something happens. Some time passes. I don't know what could be going on. Uh. Because if you think about it, Captain Marvel shows up pretty early on. So what happens and why does so much time pass and they still look like they haven't done anything? So I'm kind of curious to what's going on there. But this is clearly, what do you think this, judging on this hairstyle, man, this has got to be seven, eight months to a year maybe? Hey, so at the, at, the, uh, at, the, at the trailer scene for Captain Marvel, what color was Scar Joe's hair in that? It was the short blonde one from Infinity War. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a lot of time has passed here. I'd say almost close to a year, maybe. Um, and she just looks like a wreck, dude. You can see a little tear in her eye, and she's just she looks disheveled, man. And then it goes right across her, from her to Cap, and he's you know saying not us, um, reiterating that line from the last trailer. Then we get a shot of Mark Ruffalo here, looking very, very grim. Ruffalo, very Ruffalo. Yeah. Very Ruffalo Grim. Um, still no Hulk <laughs> in this trailer. Still no Hulk in this trailer. Nope. Um, then we get a really good shot of Ant Man here outside of a house. A lot of people were saying this is his family's house from the Ant Man movies, but I went back and checked. It is not their house. Oh, it's, it's not even not even close. Yeah, it's just some random street, I guess, in San Francisco. Because 
this looks pretty soon after he gets out of the quantum realm. He's just looking, discovering what the fuck's going on. Um, really horrified looking Paul Rudd's face. It's kind of nice to see Paul Rudd in a in a role like this, man, because it really lets him stretch his acting abilities. Because he's always known for comedy, the, yeah. the comic guy, and every every time people see him in all the Avengers stuff, they always smile and laugh. But it's like, you know, because oh hey, it's Ant Man. It's like. No, we're not laughing this time, dude, because this is some serious shit. But, yeah, I love how he conveys that shit with his face. Like, dude, what the fuck's going on, man? Yeah, it's you know, like he just woke up into a zombie apocalypse. Like, yeah, it's, dead, it's, you know? <laughs> it's horrifying, dude. Like, can you yeah. imagine his, his mental state, man? Like, what he's seen. He gets out of the quantum realm, and no one's there anymore. And I, we don't know about his family. I, I'm, I, We don't know if he loses his daughter or his ex-wife or whoever. I mean, I just... I don't care about any of them. I just hope Lewis doesn't get dusted away. Michael Pena. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so um, really good shot there. Really good shot. Then we got a shot of the, the Avengers jet. I think this is New York, right? Uh, that I don't know my be- city. I don't know my city la- layouts. Huh. I'm not I sure. See the, I see the bridge there, and it looks like <clears throat> well, the bridge is in Brooklyn, but it could be. I don't know. I think it's New York. It's a big city. Tokyo, maybe? I don't know, dude. Because Scarlet Witch goes to... See, Scarlet Witch. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> I mean, Black Widow. <laughs> he she did goes to... Uh, yeah, Black Widow goes to Tokyo at one point, I think, to uh, to get Ronin or Hawkeye. Yeah. So, I don't know. And then we got a nice shot here of uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye on look, the... And look, her hair, she's growing... You can see some blonde in her hair still. She's She's been growing it out. Her tips are kind of blonde in the back. Yeah, I think this. Is, yeah, I think this is pretty soon after that earlier shot when she's sitting in the chair. This is all in the same timeline. Yeah. Um, I can't tell what ship they're on. I don't know if that's the Avengers ship, but uh, it kind of looks like the the ship from the previous shot. It looks too big for that because it's got a ladder going up, like there's multiple levels or something. I don't know. Well, background. I did hear someone say it could be the Benatar, the Guardians of the Galaxy ship. Could be. So that's another thing. Um, he's just kind of consoling her, and the whole time she's voicing over. Even if there's a small chance, what's up? Actually, if you could back it up just, just a touch, same scene in the background oh, behind Hawkeye's shoulder and her shoulders, you'll see the city in the background. So it's not in space oh, yeah. or anything. Yeah, you good can call. see the building lights and stuff. So it's probably that same shot. Yeah, they're probably they're, yeah the buildings are lower level too. Yeah, you might be right. Good eye, man. But um, yeah, the whole time she's voicing over, even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. And that's yeah. really powerful right there, man. Really hits me in the feels like all the fallen soldiers that we lost in the last movie. You know, they're, they're doing this for them. Um, really shows you how much of a team these guys are, man. That's what I love about the Avengers, dude. Yep. Then we get a shot, a really good shot here of Hawkeye in a red uh, hallway. I, I no clue where this is um, or what this could be. All I know is the lighting, the framing is fucking money. What do you think he is? You got any ideas? It's just an action shot, dude. You could speculate all day. I know, dude. This, there's no telling. I don't know why people try to slime themselves over this shit because this no, could be can't. anything, anywhere. And there's an explosion in the next cut shot. He's running from an explosion, and it almost gets him. Um, but, yeah, it's it's. I, I can't tell, dude. I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to call it right now. What's up? Right here. I'm the very first. I think there will be many other explosions in the movie. You think so? I'm That's calling a it bold statement, man. I'm calling it, hmm. yeah, bold statement. We'll see if it holds up, though. <laughs> I got faith. <laughs> All right, let's move on to. Uh, I love this have, shot, dude. Yeah, I love you gotta this have shot. Uh, Rocket More Machine, man. What? This, what is, could be, this is one dude. of my best favorite frames. I love this. Yeah, I mean, Rocket, dude. Here's another person here that's gone through so much. I, I want to know at what point in the movie. You know, I think, you know, obviously there's going to be a scene where Tony and Nebula come back to Earth. And that's probably when Rocket's going to learn that, hey, where's 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 Quill? Where's Mantis? Where's Drac? Where's everybody at? Yeah. You know, it's like and then he watched Groot die right in front of him and he has no idea about Gamora. You know, so it's just all of them gone. He's literally the only one left. And it's like, what is that going to do to his fragile little mind? But he's riding on War Machine's shoulder right here looking like a total fucking savage. So clearly he's fine, you know, maybe not fine, but. He's determined to whip some ass. But yeah, really badass shot of Rocket there. Uh, then we got a shot of Cap talking to what looks to be Hawkeye. It is. I mean, I mean what looks to be in the same scene. 
um, saying we will, whatever it takes. And then they all just kind of reiterate whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Really good shot of Ant-Man here. Moving on to this looks like uh, a, takes place right before that one shot in the last trailer, him and War Machine in the Avengers HQ. I'm kind of thinking something goes down in the Avengers HQ in this movie. Like maybe he gets attacked by somebody. Thanos well, or one of his well, they you know they may have a just they may have a moment where because the stress is so high and they may fucking go at it each other for a little bit and then realize you know what this is not the answer or who knows yeah I mean you, you cannot imagine the stress level of what of what has happened yeah and yeah. people point, people dude. are gonna they're gonna be on edge uh mm-hmm. you got some new people that are you know coming into the fray with fucking uh what's her name you know Gamora's sister who could say something that sparks and it you know they just it, there's they're not, I mean, yeah. they're a great team, but there's a lot of people that are missing. A lot of shit's happened. There's mm-hmm. a lot of new new people on the quote-unquote team, and, man, maybe they got to, they may have to settle some differences first. Yeah, you could be right, man. You could be right. I mean, imagine if that happened in our world right now without superheroes, if half the population just suddenly disappeared. What does the remaining half do? Like, you know, you <laughs> can't even imagine. Can't even imagine. So then we get a really, of course, you got to get a money shot of Thor here with the lightning, kind of harnessing all the energy with Stormbreaker. This kind of, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is kind of after the Battle of Wakanda because it looks like he's wearing the same shit. That's what I was about to say. Is this is this an old shot? Because that I don't remember seeing this this scene, mm-hmm. or, or 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 not the scene, but the, the shot in in uh, Infinity War because you know it looks like it could be the same. It looks the same to be the same outfit. Yeah, it looks like the same outfit, same day, you know. So, but it makes sense because think about it, dude. Asgard's gone. Um, where's he gonna get some more new Thor garb? You know, I mean, maybe he has to wear the same shit. What if this is after Infinity War and he's just like about to totally lose his shit and like scream or something? Oh, that'd be badass. Shit, could you imagine, man? Yeah, because this looks like. It looks like the Wakanda setting, like like we said, the same outfit, same everything, you know, same so, hair. Yeah, dude. So he's got the same, uh, like a uh, spots in his hair where the guy fucked where Stan Lee cut his hair on the yeah. side. Went too deep. Where it's, yeah, <laughs> where it's missing those couple of ridges and shit. Yeah, this has got to be right after. It has to be. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, moving on to a really good shot of Nebula here now. Yeah. Let's let's be honest. It's pretty obvious who she's yelling at. Who's gonna make her yell this much? Who's gonna make her this angry? She's obviously. I think she's charging at Thanos. I don't think she's yelling like this at anybody else. She's pretty fucking fierce right here. So I would like to think this is in a battle with Thanos here. Yeah, but where is this taking place? I have no clue. All I see is just nothing but debris, fire, and rubble. So it's like the same background as the rocket shot, and then the Captain America shot we get here coming up in a minute. It yeah. looks like it's all taking place in the same battle. This looks like a. This look, here's my thing, dude. Is is this the climax? Because the Russo said we're only showing footage from the first 15, 20 minutes of the film. Now we know they like to lie, but could know. this could this be from Titan? I don't think it's Titan, man. I don't think so either, because because I don't cap, caps there, rockets there, war machines there. I think that all looks they all have the same background, the same color tones. I think it's all the same place. I could be wrong, but I just that's just what my eye sees. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. It's hard to make out the debris. Like I it just looks like pieces looks of like, random shit, you know. Yeah, it looks it looks like a junkyard in some spots. Just like a little little bit. I can't tell if that it looks like dirt maybe too. So I don't yeah. know where the hell they are, what's going on. All I know is Nebula's she's uh She's coming to play, dude. <laughs> She's coming to play, man. So that's what oh, makes yeah. me think. That's what makes you think it's uh, Thanos. Mm. So, yeah, man. And then we got another shot of Hawkeye. Looks to be the same hallway as before. You know, uh, arching up that bow, getting ready to strike like a fucking cobra. Where the fuck is he? What's going I know, on? man. I don't. I have no idea. Somewhere in space, maybe, mm. or an underground facility, or it's like. <sighs> I swear, like you said earlier, it's like these action scenes. It's so hard to, it's so hard to speculate because it could be one of like fifty to hundred things. Well, you know, he he's, he's going to take on his he's going to take on the persona of Ronan, right? Mm. And maybe ScarJo is having to go fucking track him down and to pull him in because, like, maybe he's been maybe he's gone rogue in Japan. Just is 
is doing his own thing and he's just trying to find a way to find himself after his family's been gone. Right. And maybe he's on a, a mission totally unrelated to, you know, the, the to the big picture. Mm-hmm. And ScarJo, like maybe he's going, maybe they have such a, you know, such a such a tight knit past. She knows where to find him through the the grapevine or whatever. And maybe that's how she finds him. I don't yeah. know. Could I be. Know. Could be. I love the I love this next shot though. Yeah, she's looking like a total badass here. Um, putting six rounds right into that middle of that thing. And I love the way she puts the magazine right up into the clip and oh, yeah. cocks it back. Like you could just see the determination. Now, this is before the red hair. Here's another issue. This she still got the blonde hair, but it looks longer. So are there like three different time periods in this fucking movie? Because you could base the whole time periods on Black Widow's hair. She got the short blonde hair, and then like the middle length down to her upper back blonde hair, like it's grown out over a month or two. And then the full on, fully grown out red hair, which looks like a year later. So I'm kind of thinking, like, dude, there might be a few time skips in this movie. She, well, either that or she just basically, like, right before they get all their shit ready, she's like, you know what? And she just embraces the fucking, just changes it all red again. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it kind of looked grown out. That's why, that's, that's the only reason I said that. But you could be right. She could have just dyed it. But early in the when she's sitting down in the chair, it kind of looks like the tips are still blonde, like it's grown out. So I, it's hard to tell, man. But you're such it, a girl, dude. You're I know, I know, I know. Only on the weekends, though. <laughs> only on the weekends. And today's Friday, so it's starting to seep out just a little bit. But good thing we're not recording this tomorrow because I'd be all over it. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next shot of Cap. She Tightening looks sh- hot, though. Anyway, Karen. Yeah, she does. Uh, the next shot we got Captain America strapping the the classic shield so he gets the shield back and then it cut we saw that we saw that shot before in a previous trailer but what we did not see is the following shot of his face yep um which looks fucking rough man this dude looks rough right here and he kind of looks like he's in pain a little bit sometimes i just want to punch him in his perfect teeth there you go there you go spotless teeth yeah, well, he's cl- kind of clenching his teeth, man. He looks like he's in pain a little bit. So this looks exactly like the same background as Nebula's shot. So yeah, he looks like he's been in in some serious shit right here. It, it's got to be Thanos, dude. I mean, what else would what else would get him and Nebula this worked up like this? It's got to be Thanos. I think there's a part where they're fighting Thanos right here. But where at? I have no fucking idea. What time period? I don't know. Is it the end of the movie, the middle of the movie? I, I don't know, man. It's it's so confusing right now. Yeah. Because I'm really holding on to belief that the Russos are telling the truth with the 15, 20 minutes thing. Because he yeah. did say, like, yeah, we're not really showing much from the end of the movie or middle. It's it's all from, like, the beginning on. So it's like, do you mean to tell me, then, that there's a battle like this in the first act of the movie? Could be. Maybe Thanos has some more minions. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. It, it's, I mean, w- when this thing happened, right? When the snap happened, think mm-hmm. of think of all the other people or all the other entities, if you will, that were, have been affected by this. So, surely the Avengers aren't the only ones trying to either a fix it and or b capitalize on it. So there's no telling who they could come across on their quote unquote quest to you know to restore the, how things were before. It's a great opportunity to introduce something else. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm maybe I'm reaching. I don't know. No, I see. I see where your head's at. It makes sense. Well, here's what here's what I'm thinking. What if they pull a hard swerve on us? What if they fight Thanos early on, kill him, and then they have to spend the rest of the movie going back to undo what he did? But then you know that wouldn't work. Never mind. Because you know if they kill him, he's got the stones right there. They wouldn't have to go back in time. Yeah, but you're assuming the glove still has the uh, the, the energy to to unsnap, if you will. I honestly, man, the more that we, the more that I think about this movie, I don't think they're gonna do shit to. I don't think they're gonna do anything to reverse the snap. I think they're gonna do it to prevent the snap from ever happening. Agreed. If that makes any sense. No, I to- I totally agree, and I think because- they're gonna show the battle on Xandar is where it's gonna go down. Yeah, because, because we didn't see that in Infinity War, so they're going to use that as the uh, the palette, if you will, or the or the theater for the the big fight, the big battle. I wonder if this is Xandar, then. It could be. 
That's the thing, though, man. It could be anywhere. That's what I don't. That's what I don't get. But I love it at the same time because I love yeah. not knowing. You know, it's like, yep, yep. We, we, yeah, we have some shots from whatever this battle is, but when we see the movie, it's like, oh, that's what the oh, okay. You know, it's that's what I love about it. I love it and I hate it at the same time. But I more so love it. I mean, I'm I'm in no mood to hate anything about this movie. I'm I'm just excited for it. So. Dude, it's going to be so good. You can't eat yeah. shit. No, fuck no. There's just so many questions, dude. So let's move on to this next shot of Ant-Man launching off of a pencil. Um, there's an auxiliary cord there. This kind of looks like this. This kind of looks like the same battle, man. Yeah. And, and since Cap, there's and Captain since there's Nebula. an auxiliary cord there, I guess it could be fighting at Radio Shack. I don't know. Well, someone pointed out this could be uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That would be a nice way to bring Radio Shack back into business. It's a plug for Radio Shack, sponsored, yeah, yeah sponsoring the Indie Rundown. All right, I'll be, uh, we'll be expecting a check in the next week, <laughs> and uh, Mr. Troy Parker address will be get uh, a residual check, or uh, Mr. Troy Parker will be expecting a residual check as well. So, here, here's the theory that I heard. Um, people have been saying because of the pencil and the auxiliary cord, what if Thanos attacks Avengers headquarters, and this is all a battle at the headquarters, and that was what. War Machine and Ant-Man were suiting up for in the last trailer. Why would Thanos attack them? Thanos is done. He's done his thing. He could care less. He's done it. I know, but... He's retired, dude. He's got the Scarecrow suit up. What he's, if he catches on to what they're trying to at do? The garden. I, don't like, think he, I don't think he feels threatened by it. That's what I'm saying. There's got to be a way to draw him out like that. I mean, maybe they start fucking with the stones in the past or something, and then he makes... Then he's, then he sees it. Hard to say. Sees it somehow. Hard to say. I mean, surely it would. I mean, with the time stone, maybe, maybe he would have something. Some. What's the word I'm looking for? He would have like a, some intuition, if you will, of, of, of when someone's tampering with the timeline or something like that. Maybe, maybe then he'd be realize, oh shit, something's going on. What if that's what he does? What if he uses the time stone to take a look and see what's going on, somehow? I don't know how you do that, but well, him, the space stone, he can portal anywhere and all this crap. I mean, he can do whatever the hell he wants. So That's what I'm saying, what if he just fucking teleports to Avengers headquarters? You could. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nebula knows where he is, though. I mean, hell, if uh, what's her name, if Captain Marvel can just pop up without them even knowing, surely Thanos can walk in there, too, without anything. Yeah, I hated that anyway. Yeah, they're trying to play up the whole like, oh, she's super stealthy. Because she's Captain Marvel. You don't sneak up on Cap. No way, dude. I know. Uh, so then we got a shot of Tony here with serious determination on his face. You know, whatever it takes. Voiceover plays right over it. And uh, this kind of looks like post-recorded message. And he's trying to think of a plan. You know, basically the Iron Man route. Like, hey, I'm in a cave. I'm in space. I need to find a way to get out. You know, so. Uh, and then we got a shot here of the money shot, as people call it in the trailer, of all the Avengers walking. Going what to the I, grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> what I personally believe to be the Quantum Realm suits. Um, people are saying space suits, but there were some leaks and rumors going around that they're Quantum Realm suits, and this confirms it. Not that they are. That's just that they were talking about white suits, but now they're confirmed there are white suits. And guess who's in this shot with the Avengers? Fucking Nebula Tony Stark and, and Tony. Nebula. Yep. They shouldn't have shown them, man. No, they should have tried. They should have kept them a little more hidden. I also think Hulk's uh, in the shot as well. Um, maybe even Captain Marvel. I don't yeah. know why they would leave Captain Marvel out. Thor's not here either, so maybe Thor and Cap go do something. I don't see Rocket either. So. Thor probably doesn't need a quantum realm suit. No, he doesn't. That fuckers, <laughs> dude. He's getting he's getting more and more and more. If he ever get, embraces the Odin Force and everything, it's gonna be on. Shh. That's why. That's why I hope they don't kill him off, man. Because I feel, I still feel like there's so much more he could do. Like he could carry the mantle, dude. They need to re-up his contract. He could be the new. He could. He, yeah, I mean, he is one of the main guys anyway. But yeah, the face, the main guys, honestly, are we know Iron Man and Cap. And they'll but... both go the wayside in this movie. I still don't think they're gonna die, but I think they're gonna go the wayside. One will retire, one will go back in time and stay there, or he or Cap will die and he'll. He'll be with Peggy in the afterlife. No, I got. I, keep going, man. I got. I got a sweet. Okay. I got a sweet theory. You're gonna. You're gonna get, gonna get a little pre-com on it. Let's okay, go. Okay. Cool. Per <laughs> All right. We go to the Avengers Endgame title that we've seen many before, and then we go to, or that we've seen many times before, 
Then we go to this end tag with Captain Marvel. Because I was wondering the whole time I was watching this, like, oh, no Captain Marvel, huh? And then, of course, at the very end. This scene is basically a uh, whose dick is bigger scene. Like, Thor trying to show off his power. She doesn't even flinch. And uh, they size each other up. And then you just say, you know, I like her. So, and that's it. Yeah. Yep. So, now, see, now you see Black Widow's hair is back to the short, short blonde hair. This Dude, kind of like right em, after em, embrace it. You want to you want to style hair. We get it. Embrace it. You want to be a hairstylist. Let Speaking it go. Hair, Captain Marvel's hair is a little longer. Here. <laughs> it is. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I wonder, I wonder what, what conditioner they use. Oh, you fucker! I was gonna say that. You piece you, of shit. <laughs> great Damn minds it. think alike, man. It might you might have a little hairdresser in you as well. <sighs> so, all right. Well, that's gonna do it, man. That was our little breakdown for Endgame, the newest trailer. Let us know what you thought. There's so many speculations, so many scenarios that this movie could take. So, bro, thanks again for doing this with me. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, My pleasure, fun. sir. This is fun, dude. I, I wish we had Art Baez to help with us with with his theories, but whatever. Fuck that guy. Well, yeah, fuck him, dude. But you know, <laughs> hey, we still got a month, man. So we could do another episode and talk nothing but Endgame. So, because I really, I, I really do want to hear his thoughts and his thought process and all this and his scenarios and his theories, if he has any, which I'm sure he does. But uh, yeah, we're going to get out of here, man. This has been another breakdown. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.